everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pam. Today is finale day. It is the finale for my Project Polish 2023 and I've made fantastic progress here. I have finished so much nail polish, including my goals that I had for this update. Um, so you may have noticed in my other videos that I haven't really been wearing my project polish. I've kind of been getting a head start on next year's project polish, even though I haven't even filmed that yet. I'm just wanting to get started on the bottles that I've picked out. Um, because I really put focus on the green and the red very early, kind of knocked them out. And then one polish is going to carry over and then one color wasn't super seasonally appropriate, but I was still getting some use on it. So, but the numbers are going to be a little bit smaller for this month. Again, because I haven't really been doing this project in the last couple of weeks because it's been done. I just haven't had a chance to film yet. So sorry that this finale is coming so late, but you will see an intro coming very, very soon for Project Polish 2024. All right, so I've already given you the spoilers for everything. So let's dive into my second nail wheel here. So polish is starting until this blue here, which is the unfinished polish because it really was more of a summer color and although I did have some stuff to winterize it I decided instead of putting my focus really on these two for the last little bit it would be more productive ultimately for me to just kind of try to get a head start on the 2024 polishes so that's what I've done but this color here is sinful colors endless blue it is an absolutely gorgeous color and guys I did so well um I'm all the way down to well, that was my line last time. I only used it twice, bringing me to a total of 25 uses in this project, manicures and pedicures. So I'm just a tiny little bit below that line there, but not enough to mark it because I did only use it for two manicures since the last update. But about half the bottle is done. I am so excited about that. So you get a lot of polishes, a lot of manicures, a lot of pedicures. It's only a two coater on this one. So... That's very exciting, but it's just gonna go back into my collection for now because it's not the most seasonally appropriate. It wasn't really a color I wanted to be wearing a whole, whole lot. Next up, the polish I am wearing today is my L'Oreal Nude Demoiselle. Uh, so that, of course, is this polish right here. And obviously what I'm wearing today in three coats because it does require the three coats. Now, just a tiny little bit of progress, because again, I put more of my focus on the other ones, but spoiler, this is going to roll over into my winter 2024 project polish. So from there to there. So not a whole ton left of this particular bottle. We got that much polish there. So I use this only five times, so five manicures to make that bit of progress there for a total of 19 uses from when I brought into the project. So probably like 21, 22 uses on the bottle at this point. Next up, these are the polishes that I was really focusing very hard on um, right at the beginning of the update. Uh, so this really dark color, it is green, maybe you can tell, uh, that comes to us from Essence. This is their Essence Color and Go in Deep Sea Baby. My marks have basically all rubbed off at this point, but it was like way down here. I only got an additional four uses on it, um, and then from this point, that's where I started with 10 uses. So that's like 14 to finish the bottle from that middle point there. So just to kind of give a sense, it is a smaller bottle. I believe these are eight milliliters, but the writing is rubbed off a fair amount. But this one is done and that was one of my main goals, as is the Christmas red color. Um, I'm still gonna be wearing a sparkly red for Christmas, although it won't be this one. This is my Sally Hansen Instant Dry in 656 Jolly Red. Um, I was at this mark as of the last update, and yes, there is still some polish at the bottom, but I cannot get that out, and as you guys know, I don't fuss about it. It's very dry on goopy, and can't get a full manicure out of that, or pedicure. Uh, four uses on this one to finish it off, so it did not take as long as I thought it would, again, because I just can't reach so much of that polish down at the bottom, which is kind of unfortunate, but I loved that color. But that was everything. So this one's gonna roll over, this one, oops, over here. This one's gonna take a bit of a break. And I finished 28 polishes this year. 
oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Um, again, one of them didn't make it onto the wheel because I finished it back when it was just the 10 uses version of a project polish for me. But I'm so excited about what I've been able to achieve. Stay tuned for my Project Polish 2024 intro, as well as my Plan to Pan Nail Polish for 2024. That is already up. But I will also, of course, be doing a review of what my goals were for this year, which it's amazing. That's so good. I'm so very pleased with what I've been able to do. Again, I do my pedicure, well, it's supposed to be once a week. In the winter, it's like once every two two and a half weeks. Manicure though I do just about every single day because I'm rough on my hands and uh, yeah, I get bored very quickly. But that is going to wrap up today's 2023 Project Polish finale. Thank you so much for joining me for this project. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.